Good day. My name is Daniela Savin. I'm a fourth year student of the Peter the Great St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. Today I want to present you a report on the topic development of a light control system using an optical aerial information transmission system. The volumes of electricity consumption and production uh, have reached huge values. This situation entails a number of problems. Uh, the cost of fuel and raw materials, uh, the number of which is limited, is growing. The amount of uh, impurities re uh, released into the atmosphere, which appear as a result of fuel processing, also increases. One of the ways to solve those problems is to reduce the volume of electricity consumption. A considerable uh, share of all energy consumed, about 12-15 uh, uh, persons, uh, is uh, spent on lighting. Therefore, the use of systems uh, that allow more economical use of energy for lighting leads uh, to a, a reduction in energy consumption in general. However, modern systems have a drawback. They use Wi-Fi to transmit information. This can be a serious problem, since in addition uh, to the lighting control system, there may still be uh, Wi-Fi routers and other radiation uh, sources that can interface, interfere uh, with the transmission of uh, data from sensors to the server. In this regard, we propose a new approach to use, uh, uh, to use an optical uh, communication channel uh, to transmit information. Figure 1 shows a block diagram uh, of the automatic uh, lighting control system to workplaces integrated into the optical air information transmission system, Internet. The information from the light sensors is sent to the information processing unit developed by us, uh, which is located in the same building which, with uh, the system for connecting computers. In this block, uh, data packets uh, are formed based on the uh, received data. At the same time, the channel switching uh, device selects the uh, least loaded channel and uh, receives a time uh, interval uh, during which information about the light uh, level at control points in the workplace will be transmitted over the optical internet. After the receiving and transmitting model, light uh, data packets uh, and transmitted via the optical uh, channel uh, to the server, where they are processed. Based on the information received, the server sends commands uh, to the lighting control system to increase or decrease the voltage uh, on the spe on specific lamp. Let's look at the main parameters of the system. One of the important parameters uh, that uh, characterized uh, the operation of fiber optic uh, communication systems, uh, which includes an air optical communication channel, is the amplitude frequency response. The obtained result shows that uh, the uneven frequency response of the fiber optic communication system in the frequency range uh, from 3 to 7 gigahertz is about 4-5 dB. The filters that are used after the uh, photodetector to form the frequency response do not introduce significant uh, dist uh, distortion uh, in the uneven characteristic. This allows uh, allows you to uh, release uh, a stable signal transmission with uh, a large amount of information after connecting the device developed by us for light control. Another important characteristic uh, of the operation of a fiber optic cable with an air optical uh, channel is the uh, tangential uh, sensitivity G of the receiving path which is placed on the user's table. It was found that uh, when the light control system was connected to the path, the G value didn't uh, change significantly uh, and uh, is about 78 dBm. 
The analysis of the obtained results shows uh, that there is no need to include additional low noise um, uh, amplifiers uh, in the receiving path circuit uh, after connecting the light control system developed by us. The basic equipment uh, doesn't need to be reworked. The last parameter is dynamic range. On the figure 4 you can see that after connecting the system for light control, the dynamic range of stable operation of the fiber optic cable with an air optical uh, channel was about 112 dBm. This value for the uh, linearity of the characteristic allows uh, for uh, reliable transmission of large amount of information and uh, corresponds to the values uh, in the classical uh, main fiber optic lines. The analysis of the obtained data shows uh, the possibility of using in-draw lighting control system with their connection to a fiber optic cable with an aerial optical communication channel. The parameters of the uh, light control system developed by us didn't significantly worsen the main parameters of the fiber optic communication system with an area, uh, air optical uh, communication channel. The proposed scheme for constructing a light control system allows you to include the influence of uh, various interference uh, on the transmitted information, which increases the effect uh, of its operation. The results obtained conform the inexpendency of using Wi-Fi to control lighting in rooms uh, where optical internet is used. It should be noted that the principle of building a light uh, control system and its uh, practical uh, implementation doesn't significantly uh, change when changing the configuration of the optical internet connection in the premises. That's all. Thank you for the attention.